the consumer price index is continuing to rise. It's increasing at the fastest rate since 1982. Our reporter Tegan Brown is in studio with how President Biden is working to tackle the problem. Ricky, thank you. Newly released data shows that inflation is the highest it's been in almost 40 years due to rapid consumer demand, supply chain issues, as well as rising house prices. This increased inflation is lasting longer than expected, and there's no distinct answer on when it will end from experts in the field. Now, what does this mean for the U.S. government? Now, the White House and the Federal Reserve have been working to make policies that would assist in healing the labor market, specifically from the continued effects of the pandemic, but inflation is making it more difficult for officials to do this. One of the biggest price jumps that caused a rise in inflation is energy prices. The 12-month change of energy prices was 33.3%, which is close to five times the inflation rate overall. President Joe Biden has experienced a significant drop in approval ratings throughout his time as president due to his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. You can see his approval ratings going down while his, while his disapproval ratings go up. Uh, his handling of the economy has a 37% approval rating and a 57% disapproval rating. In a statement today, Biden said that data on inflation and prices does not include more recent trends like the prices decreasing for gas, cars, and more. Liam? Ricky? 